Hey everybody, um, this is a little activity I usually like to do with my class. I've done this with second graders, I've done it with fourth graders, I've done it with fifth graders, and um, they've all seemed to enjoy it, so I figured I could share it. And um, what we're going to be doing is modeling the rock cycle using some different color chocolate chips, a cupcake tin, and we'll uh, have a bowl with some hot water that we'll use later. So the first thing we are going to do, we're gonna take some of our chocolate chips. These are gonna be our sediments that we're gonna just throw in our cupcake tin Get some all of them, mix them up. Something like this. And the first thing that we're gonna do to make our sedimentary rock is add heat and pressure. Let's go ahead and throw some more in there. You know, let's get wild with it. Okay, so we're gonna fold it up. And this is the part that most of them like the most adding the heat and pressure. So we're just gonna <sighs> got our heat from, you know, our natural body heat, pressure. You can let them go as much as you want. I don't usually put any limits on how they do it. Uh, sometimes they'll take turns. Usually we do this in groups. They'll take turns pushing down on it. That kid step on it, adding super pressure. Um, it just kind of up to you how you want. Just gonna give it one more good push. Ugh. All right, let's open this up and see what it looks like. All right, so we've got, we're still a little crumbly, but they're still pretty stuck together. Um, we could add some more heat, some more pressure to it to make it more rock-like. But with the sedimentary rock, they're stuck together. But you can still see the different pieces of sediment. So it hasn't physically changed too much. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna add some warm water. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit first. Okay, <clears throat> after we get our hot water, we're gonna open up our metamorphic rock we add just a few more sediments to it. And we're gonna close it back up. And we're gonna put it in our water for a little bit. We really don't want it to get super melty. We just want it to get a little soft. Um, so we'll wait on that. Okay, it's been about a minute or so. And I just realized that I said that we were gonna put our metamorphic rock in the water. I meant that we were gonna put our sedimentary rock because we're going towards metamorphic. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Ugh. Okay, see how you can still see kind of sediments is a little melty, sticking together even better now. We're gonna let this harden for a little bit and then we'll go on to 
the next phase of our rock cycle. For this next part, you're gonna need some pretty hot water. Um, so this is probably a part, you know, the adult should do. But I've got some in the microwave. I didn't really want to take the time to boil it. Um, but yeah, we'll use this for the next part. Okay, so we got our microwave water out. Microwave safe bowl. We're going to go ahead and put it back in our original bowl. We'll take this, set it over here. Let me go ahead and there we go. Um, so we have our metamorphic rock, and I'm not gonna lie, I cheated a little bit. I uh, put it back in the water for a little bit, added some pressure to it um, to make it more metamorphosized. Um, but what we're gonna do now, we are going to go from metamorphic to our igneous rock, which is gonna be like magma um, from a volcano. Put this in our hot water. And we're gonna let this get um, um, melted enough to where it's liquidy, just like lava would be. So we'll wait on that. Okay, so it's been about five minutes or so. Just go ahead and take, don't just stick your hand in there. Get yourself a nice little tool. So we've got a super melty, pretty close to liquidy. Um, it's, oh uh, yeah, that's, that's soft. Um, but what we'll do, we'll let it cool down now. Because right now this is where it's supposed to be like the magma. If you want to leave it in longer, if you want to make your water even hotter, to where it melts towards like a straight liquid, you can do that. Um, but we'll let it cool down and then we'll see what our igneous rock looks like, which is the next step. So I'm actually gonna put mine in the freezer for a little bit, that way it cools down even quicker. Cool, so I got this out of the freezer, not gonna lie, wasn't keep track, not sure how long it was in there, but I just wanted it to be hard. So this is what it looks like. Um, so it probably could have melted it more to where it completely liquefied and blended together. Um, so this is one of those cases where uh, do as I say, not as I do. It'd probably be better off that way. Um, but yeah, this would be like our igneous rock. And then to complete the rock cycle back to sediments. Um, the igneous rock would break down back into smaller pieces by weathering. Um, so that could be like wind blowing, river running, whatever. And if you wanted to, you could just break it in little pieces and then you could start over if you wanted to. Keep doing the rock cycle. But yeah, um, hopefully this is something that you guys do and enjoy and have fun. And if nothing else, you've got chocolate chips you can eat.